Hi, welcome to SolveAndGo.com. Um, today, I'm going to give another video um, giving a solution to a problem from the Math 135 final exam in 2010. This problem has to do with asymptotes. So we're given a function f of x and it's equal to x cubed plus x squared minus 6x plus 4 over x squared minus 1. Okay, and we're asked to list um, how many asymptotes this function has. So there's vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes, and slant asymptotes as possibilities. So let's take care of the horizontal first. So to test if there's a horizontal asymptote, well, you want to take the limit as x goes to plus or minus infinity of f of x. And what's the rule for rational functions? Okay, so this is what we're, we have here. It's the quotient of two polynomials. What you do is you take just the highest powers of x when you take limits at infinity. So this is x cubed over x squared, which is the limit as x goes to plus or minus infinity of x, which is plus or minus infinity, depending on which one you're taking. So there's no horizontal asymptote. Okay, what about vertical? Well, vertical asymptotes for a rational function will occur possibly, and possibly is important, where the denominator is zero. So where is x squared minus one equal to zero? Um, well, two points, x equals one and x equals negative one. So these are possible asymptotes. Um, it, they're they're not necessarily asymptotes because we need to check to see whether the numerator is zero at either of these points. If the numerator happens to be zero um, as well at one or both of these points, um, then we may have one or no asymptotes, vertical asymptotes. Okay, so let me write down what we're, we're doing here. So this is ver testing to see if we have vertical asymptotes. Okay, so let's plug x equals one into the numerator. 6 times 1 plus 4 is in fact 0. So x is a root of the numerator and denominator, which means these polynomials have a, a common factor, which we're going to deal with in a second. Let's test minus 1. Minus 1 cubed is minus 1. Um, plus minus 1 squared is 1. And we'll get plus 6 plus 4 equals um, 10. So this is non-zero, of course. Okay. So there's a root, a common factor at x equals 1 in the numerator and denominator. So we need to deal with that first. Okay. Um, so this is uh, x minus 1 is a common factor. I mean, we really don't have to take it much further than this. Um, the common factor won't give us an asymptote, but this this uh, root of the denominator will. So we see we have one vertical asymptote. Let me just take it a step further to show you. Um, I'm going to factor the top. It's a cubic, so I'm going to use long division. Let me just expand on this. Again, we, we kind of we know for sure that there's just going to be one um, vertical asymptote, but I'm, I'm going to show you why. So uh, x minus 1 is the factor we want to divide out of um, x cubed plus x squared minus 6x plus 4. Okay, so this is polynomial division, uh, x squared minus x squared. Okay, we get 2x squared after we subtract, so we need a 2x here. Um, we get 2x squared minus 2x, which leaves negative 4x, and we need a negative 4 and we see that we factored it. Okay, so it leaves a remainder of zero. And so this factors as x minus one times x squared plus two x minus four divided by x minus one times x plus one, which is the fact the, the bottom factor. So this is a little small. This is x minus one here. If you can 
See that? Okay. So, let me erase this long division. Okay, so basically when x isn't 1, we can cancel these factors here. So it equals, this function equals x squared plus 2x minus 4 over x plus 1 when x is not equal to 1. So there's a hole at x equals 1, and there's a vertical asymptote now where this is 0. Okay, so at x equals negative 1, again, x equals negative 1 is not a root of the, the numerator. Okay, because we get negative 1 squared minus 2 minus 4 is not 0. Okay, so this is, we get one vertical asymptote. Um, for slant asymptotes, we don't have to do much. Again, you can see that even in its sort of reduced form, um, the degree, which is the highest power of x, of the numerator is one more than the degree of the denominator, which I guess I'll write like this. Okay, so this implies that there's um, a slant asymptote. Okay, so we have a slant asymptote um, as well. Um, so in the end, no horizontal asymptotes, one vertical asymptote and one slant asymptote. That's the answer to the question. Maybe let me take it a bit further um, just to get a chance to, to show you how to to find a slant asymptote. Uh, we just divide the polynomials that we've been given here. So we have x squared. I'm going to put plus 0x just to keep track of the places. Minus 1 divide into x cubed plus x squared minus 6x plus 4. Okay, I'm going to quickly do this for you. Get x cubed. So this is 0x squared minus x. Okay, we get x squared uh, minus 5x, bring down the 4, and we get, uh, we need a 1 here, so we get x squared, again, uh, plus 0x minus 1, so we get negative 5x uh, plus 5 is the remainder here, so now we can rewrite our function, double check that I've done that correctly, I have, okay, and so now we can rewrite this function as, it's the remainder, um, so it was the, the quotient which ended up being x plus 1, so just go back to see that, um, plus the remainder divided by x squared minus 1. Okay, and this form tells us that this is the slant asymptote. It's y equals x plus 1. Okay, the general idea here being that as x gets really big, this approach is, is, this approach is 0. As x goes to uh, plus or minus infinity. Okay, so as x gets big, this term contributes less and less, so the function tends towards x plus 1. Okay, so that's the solution, and a little bit more um, 